All right, guys. Hello, it's what me, the Clayman Films, along with Instant Cake here. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear. Look at this old image, guys. Guys, look at this. Look at this. We can't look right now. It's current. It's currently on Pixelated Freddy and these children right here. Let's begin. Design pizza. What? I'm gonna Wait, add on what? everything. Here. Are you playing Pizzeria Simulator? Yes. No, I don't have enough space. No space to get to my flash drive. 64. And this is 163. Wait. No! Sticky keys. I'll just tell Sam to keep it on this computer. Round two, electric boogaloo, I E E. Minecraft. Minecraft. Oh my gosh. It I'm worked. throwing pixelated pizzas at children. I don't think this is very child appropriate. I think we're gonna have to call the Minecraft police. Stop Wait, what? telling me pizza to stop telling me to open up sticky keys. <laughs> Get out of the way, you stupid Freddy. Stop it with the sticky keys! Oh! All right, guys, we're back after sticky keys were annoying us. What? Um, uh, Sky, uh, Skyrim is on this computer. Nice. That means we can get to play Skyrim. Skyrim. Sorry if you guys can't hear cake, this game is really loud. I can't, I'm currently in a pixelated P30. Get out of the way, Shadow Freddy, you stupid little piece of crap. I'll just press escape and go to the settings menu. But that closes the game. Oh, it does? Yeah, it escape does. Escape closes the game? Yep. That's stupid. Like you. <laughs> What is going on? <laughs> the game is dying! <laughs> when... Oh my god! It's cocaine num! Wait, what happened? Oh. Oh, okay. What the? Ah, uh, oh, hi there. So I was scared for a second since I was like, ovulation, this is oscillation. Hello? Begin tape. Leaving dead space. Three, two, one. 
The purpose of this tape is to test automated response times and reactions from vintage interactive attractions following audio stimuli. If you are playing this tape, that means that not only have you been checking outside at the end of every shift, as you were instructed to do, I am but also that you have found something that meets right the criteria of your special obligations under paragraph 4. Follow these instructions, document response times, then safely secure the space before leaving. Upon sealing the room, you are not to return. Begin audio prompt in 3, 2, 1. Action, sir. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. There is no reaction from this really disturbing looking animatronic. That is Document results. That is a doll. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. I'm sitting in front of a dead animatronic. Oh, are you checking off little boxes on the list? Yeah. Yeah, that's horrifying. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Uh oh. Huh? Her eyes moved! <laughs> That's it's a new day. It's your time to shine. It's time to take your career into your own hands. You've what saved you money your whole your life. life. Great. Now it's time to put all your eggs into one basket and take a huge gamble on your future. A gamble that comes with a 100% chance of success in some cases. What are we talking about? We're talking about becoming a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee. That's right. Restaurant ownership and management, something almost anyone can do with a limited degree of success. Sure, it's a lot of money to invest, but everyone's doing it, and that means it's safe and lucrative. With your initial investment, you'll receive everything you need to get started, including a small room, some tables, and electricity. But don't forget about the money you had left over after buying your franchise package. Use it to decorate, buy a stage, buy attractions and animatronics, just, and much, much more. Now, let's take a look at a few things that will help you get started as a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee, such as atmosphere. Making sure your establishment has an inviting atmosphere is essential to bringing in new customers. Entertainment. Having a lot of entertainment value in your restaurant will ensure that customers come back. Bonus revenue. Coin-operated games and attractions can generate additional revenue during the day, which Saving means more money in your pocket, ready for reinvestment. Health and safety. There may be times when you purchase something of questionable quality, and we don't blame you. Cutting corners is just good business. But there are steps you can take to ensure you don't get sued for it, and that brings us to liability. Being a thrifty shopper is smart, but be aware so that buying things on right sale died? comes with a certain amount of risk. That's Aside from the daily risk of lawsuits, there's also the risk that something might be hiding inside whatever you just purchased with that steeply discounted price tag. Of course, that would only be a serious danger if there were something outside that's been trying to get in for months now, which we are not confirming to be the case. This concludes the amount of help we are legally obligated to provide. Remember, you are now the face of the newly rebranded Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Wear that smile with pride and let's make some money. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for disappearance, death, or dismemberment. Boy, you're not responsible for excuse me. You're not resp hold up a second. So they're not responsible for anything that Well That's just We obviously are. Yeah. Let's get started. All right. Let's see how much cash you had left over after purchasing your franchise package. Great. Hi that guys. should be more than enough. Welcome to now let's get started. <laughs> On your left are your product catalogs. You can unlock more expensive catalogs by simply purchasing hey guys, items for your pizzeria. This is, oh. 
Use the arrows in the bottom right of the item window to browse the products for each catalog. Dumpster diver. When you're finished shopping, click the button labeled Blueprint Mode to place your items. You can switch back and forth between catalog mode and blueprint mode as often as you like before opening your doors to the public. Oh, look, when you're ready to Bob. open your restaurant for business for the day, click the button labeled Finished in Blueprint Mode. Oh, Give it a try and do some shopping. Look at me, he has, he has I'm trying to buy stuff. Leave me alone, child. I have a GameCube. Nobody get. <laughs> Wait, the startup sound, though. Fuck it, Bob! <laughs> Mr. you? <laughs> There's Mr. Hug! Hug kisses! Oh, Charger and plus! restaurant is now officially open. Awesome! That doesn't mean your job is finished, however. You have a lot of work to do while patrons eat their pizza in the other room. From your terminal, you have supplies to buy, papers to print, and repairs to make. Once you've taken care of all the items on your to-do list, you can log off for the day and get out of there. Money for supplies and repairs comes out of petty cash, so don't worry about it coming out of your pocket. We've got you covered. The only money you have to worry about is if you choose to upgrade any of the equipment in your office. Now, onto other matters. Something to be aware of is that the ventilation system and your terminal are pretty loud and may prevent you from hearing things in adjoining air vents. That won't be a problem if there is nothing in the vents. However, if you feel that something might be in the vents, you have a few tools at your disposal to protect yourself. You can shut off your terminal and the ventilation system at any time to decrease the amount of attention you're drawing to yourself. Also, shining your light directly into a vent will most likely prevent anything from jumping out. You also have three tools available from the terminal itself. There is a motion detector, an audio decoy, and a secondary ventilation unit. Keep in mind, however, that you can only have one of these active at any given time. Now get to it. Simply log off when you've completed your tasks for the day, and you can go get some coffee. Why is this so... What do I... Clean your room, baby. I'll beat you through. This doesn't make too many noises. Why is this making noises? Here. I'm trying to focus, boy. <laughs> uh, this is spooky. We don't 
don't like you. Unclog toilets. I can do that from my computer. That's. Hello. Oh, <laughs> so, Kate, okay, hey, you played man. this game before, right? E. I beat it. So, is there anything on the first night? Uh, it's designed. They're not supposed to die in af until after the second night. Like, you can die. You basically can't die on the first night, but on the second Yay. night, it gets a little bit harder, but you have to try to die to let yourself die. And then on the third night, then it actually gets hard. So it's technically like four, like, it's technically like two nights at Freddy's. Because the first and second night are supposed to be easy. Great job. Yay. It looks like you're getting the I hang of this. Let me get some Now let's just phones. focus on getting you through your first week. There's a big party here Saturday, and you should view that day as your ultimate test. Make it through Saturday, and you will have proven yourself as the successful entrepreneur that we all know you can be. It feels so good. Yay. All right. Ugh. Mondays aren't bad anymore. Good Congratulations on completing your first day. However, your job isn't over I just yet. I used to yet. hate Sunday nights, but now I, no, I don't hate them. Your oh, end of day routine. And that is My brother's alarm went off at 5.30 in the morning. In the alley it didn't the stop door. until an hour later. I was often. awake for the whole thing. And while we aren't so I'm sure so why, tired. But we well, I got some more sleep, but I just don't feel the same. Which can mean oh, a much needed I'm revenue boost before starting your next day. Of course, as with everything else in this line of work, those benefits come with risk. Crawl. The safest thing to do is to throw it back outside. But then, you get no money for the salvage. You choose to keep it, and you run the risk of certain negative consequences. I need consequences. my flaff drive. Namely, my flaff. Should the flaff drive. Not be as docile it's a flaff. As it appeared. The if you do decide drive. to try to salvage it, then you must complete the maintenance AJ, checklist. The cringiest During the testing phase, check on the animatronic frequently. If you feel that it is becoming unstable, mm. use the taser provided to you. You can use it three times without damaging the hardware. Every use over three, however, will decrease the item's salvage value. I'm my OG mod video. The for you is here. an animatronic found in the back alley. Computer. We are unsure of its origins. It is your job to complete the maintenance checklist before claiming it as salvage. Or, if you choose to, you can throw it back into the alley where scrap you found it. Just scrap it, it for far, just burn make it. Make your choice now. Proceed with salvage. You have chosen to proceed with the maintenance checklist. Remember, use your company as you taser to return the animatronic to a neutral state if you feel that it's becoming unstable or aggressive. You can only oh use my three gosh. times before it begins to damage. My old computer is terrible compared to this thing. Value. Begin I'm watching my old GMI videos, two, and keep my this screen. I'm going to put auto to repair this, so it, didn't, so it didn't modify my performance at all. And this is at low settings in GROMs, and I'm exploding having to drop down my FPS to like 5 on the Begin clips. Begin audio prompt in 3, 2, 1. 
Yes, it did. They can. Be careful, though. You can yeah. get uh, spooked. Let's just say there's some uh, spoopy things that can Document happen. Document results. Like jump scares. <laughs> Back up, Freddy. I am not. I am in no mood. Tase him. Yes. Tase him. I did. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. How's the volcano bomb affect a $200 laptop? Here we go. Document results. Freddy is trying to attack me. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Document so, to be honest, my old mod review videos for Gmod aren't Begin too bad. Audio prompt in three, two, one. I did one on Gary Bombs 5 and it's actually really good. How's it a .mp4 when it be a .mp3? <laughs> That's a video Document file, and .mp4 is a video file. <laughs> you have completed the maintenance checklist and may proceed with the salvage. Well done. End tape. That's right, Freddy. You won't. Thanks for time. letting me join the party. I'll try not to disappoint. You will disappoint. He better have some good plungers. Marty better have some good plungers. <laughs> Marty better have good plungers. Coley? No. He I'm sorry, I'm just focusing. I'm on the second night. <laughs> And sneak around. Be careful not to make a sound. Don't touch that. <laughs> Here's a little lesson in trickery. This is going down in history. Hi. No, I'm just saying hello. Whoever's out there, shut up. I'm trying to work. Also, may I ask, why don't they just have light fixtures? <laughs> In your He's work area. Power. <laughs> Even though the whole Jesus Christ. <laughs> that's why I don't. That's why I, I don't really play for now. Like, oh my god. I'm not because <laughs> I almost died last time I played. So it. guys, yeah, that's the uh, video for you. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe for more. Oh my god. I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>